All right, some of you who follow me on Facebook or, you know, friends with me on Facebook may have heard I got myself a new Christmas present. Um, others of you may not. Well, it seems Chris Stewart um, over at Tinkarabum has gotten into what he calls finesse fishing. Um, it goes along with Tinkara, goes along with Kiaru, goes along with what he's been doing. This is using very, very lightweight spinning and he has casting rods available with very, very light little lures. Um, we're talking smaller than I'm, I'm used to ever throwing with anything that I've got. Uh, and catching trout mainly. Um, it's also good for brim. I have even caught a largemouth bass on this setup that I've got here. Um, they are not cheap rods. Um, this is not a budget thing. This is something that is rather, rather specialized, and specialization usually costs a little bit much. Now he also sells reels, he sells lures. All I got from him was the rod. Um, what I got was a Daiwa. Um, the best as I can read that. Membaring X 74 ULS. Um, Braiding X, cast weight, um, this is in grams, 0.5 to 5 grams, line weight 2 to 5 pounds, um, and then it's got the, you know, the Japanese, of course, equivalents there, and of course a lot of the information is in Japanese, and um, it's Japanese, Chinese, whatever on the back. I am keeping it in its original pack packaging um, until I get a rod tube for it. I'm being very, very cautious and careful with this. This is the most expensive rod, in all honesty, I've ever owned. I've actually bought two combos, one for me, one for the wife, as cheap as this rod in and of itself was. However, I have determined it is a lot stronger than I thought it was. It is a two-piece rod. puts together seven foot four inches um, thin or thinner than a pencil lead down here probably about as thin as, 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 as a larger mechanical pencil lead I've seen smaller mechanical pencil leads um, it's very good appears to be graphite construction um, this one's made in Vietnam, it says right here, so there we go. And it's a Daiwa. Now I have paired it up with a whole entire system. And I will introduce to you the basics of what I've got in here. And then I will show you what's in the in the tackle box and hopefully we'll do a little bit of fishing. I've paired it up with some soft plastics, some hooks. Of course you need a fishing reel. And I've got um, a nail clipper and a um, hemostat. And then just for giggles, because I had one, I threw in a little tape measure. But I'm not going to get that out. All right, that's it. Now, this reel, despite this being a several, um, a very expensive couple hundred dollar, say, rod, it's about, about I think, what was it, 150, 170, I'm not quoting an exact price. That, that was the, the ones I was looking at, so it is an expensive rod. $25 reel from Walmart. Um, he does sell reels. I am going to go with a more expensive reel. This reel happens to be a Zebco Quantum Q-Ray um, 20, looking for the thing, QRS 20 in case you're really interested in a reel. I got it because it will hold um, 180 yards of 4 pound test line, which is what I have on here. I wanted to have a large capacity small in case I have something like a nice large part or something. I had to let it run and had to let it fight. Now the funny thing about it is, this reel, well it fits in these holders here. More specific rods would go. Now, I said this is finesse fishing. This particular setup, or you know, this particular.
particular rod is actually LRF or light rock fishing over in Japan where they're fishing for basically what amounts to panfish that live up close to the rocks using artificials and they need to use really small tiny artificials um, but that lends itself well to trout fishing with artificials or um, brim fishing with artificials as I said I've used this up at the Beyond Fishing Club I belong to and I've caught largemouth on it on the little lightweight artificials now those are small largemouth much like I have here in the pond you have seen in my previous videos but it works all right I'm gonna go ahead and rig this up y'all don't need to see me sit here and struggle with seeing the rod eyes and sending the line through and then we'll show you what's in this tackle box and do a little fishing with it. Okay, so I got this tackle box on my lap. And as you can see, I've got some soft plastics in there. I've got some jig heads. These are 1 32nd ounce jig heads. Should be at least the ones with black head are. I think the, the other ones are a little bit bigger. Um, I've got some number six weedless hooks and there's a reason behind that I've got some regular live bait number six hooks and a few split shot but mainly what I got the rod for was putting a piece of live bait like a worm or something like that weightless and being able to throw it at least a decent distance but then after watching a um, gentleman called Robbie Alexander. Robbie's Fishing, I believe, is the channel. I will link it in the description. Um, I saw him using some little nymphs like that. Now, his came from a company called Strike Tiger out of Australia. Um, but these are eBay. And I've got them in the pumpkin seed and um, watermelon seed, or, you know, brown and green. They didn't have black. But what got my attention with Robbie's, and I'll get one of these black ones out, is these little paddle tail grubs. Um, these things swim like you all get out. They're real wiggly. Um, I really like them. They're rather expensive from the Australian company that um, Robbie Alexander was got them from. And I had to have them shipped in, so I did have to pay shipping from overseas. And of course, I've got some little you know, normal curly tail grubs. There's a little more room over here. I've got something else on order to go in there soft plastic wise. But it's not just for soft plastic. I was going to use, you know, live baits or um, cut baits, I guess you could call it, a little bit in salt water. Um, I got to figure out what the dogs are barking at. We'll be back in a minute. We'll do Okay, well, apparently it's not my dogs. I don't know how well you're seeing that, but I've decided to use the brown or pumpkin seed little broad ag critter looking thing. Uh, these just came in last night, so I haven't actually thrown one of these yet. Um, I've got it on the jig head that has a keeper. And what I've been doing with the um, paddle tail grubs bringing them back and giving them a little twitch. Working the rod just ever so slightly, giving them a little hop as they come. It's a bit windier today than it was yesterday and I did catch the fish yesterday.
like earlier, looks like these guys have spawned out. That back in the pond. So that just shows it works. My first fish on this particular type of lure. I kind of like it. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of this. I'm going to fish a little bit. Work this a little bit more. If I catch anything else, I'll put it on camera. If not, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.